Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Uh, now today we're going to be revisiting a band called Versailles. Versailles. <coughs> Sorry. Um, they are a band that I have covered once before. I did a track to that called History of the Other Side. And in reply to that video, many, 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 many people asked me to cover this track, Fatal Indecision. Now, this track is nearly 17 minutes long, so I'm going to get straight into it. Uh, didn't find any information about the song. I have found translated lyrics. So I think we'll get straight into it and see what happens. So Faith and Decision by Versailles.
Now, I'm sure there's going to be some singing at some point. I mean, the intro to the song has gone on for nearly seven minutes. <clears throat> but it showed some exceptional guitar work. And, you know, everybody's had their own little silo. Even the bassist has had their own silo. Um, very exceptional skill being shown on these instruments. And the sound, the music is fantastic. It's brilliantly executed. Can only imagine that they get very, very hot in all those layers and those dresses and outfits and stuff. Though I mean, those things, those things aren't made of thin material. So I imagine they get bloody boiling hot in that. But so far, it's quite impressive. It's a great piece of music. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what the rest of the song uh, is like. So uh, I won't waffle on for any longer, and we'll carry on and see what happens. Maybe we'll get some singing in a minute. Very dramatic entrance. pause it for a moment. This is actually a really beautiful song. Um, it seems to be talking about the loss of someone, the loss of someone and remembering them and, um, you know, keeping, you know, also sending the message of being sure to keep the people that you love in your heart. You know, it's, it's actually quite a beautiful track. And when the lyrics finally came in, uh, it said, The shadow that walked forth from the mirage is timeless without past or future. The sound of thunder that plays sadness resounded through the skies of that day. You're always here in our hearts, smiling just as you always were, 
Every time I wake from my dreams, the feelings and the promises we exchanged grow stronger. The birth of the universe, the multiplying face, the transmigration of emotions, the love that yielded. Yet the wounds from them warp time into a labyrinth. In the darkness, countless little lights spring forth from the existence of this chosen body as it changes into the form of a red, red rose. You know, some beautiful lines written there already. Um, and carries on. The inconsistent wind is so cold, tightening around me every time I struggle to swallow my fate. Because the dream we see blooms so beautifully and strongly, even these eyes that cannot cry weep. So, you know, he's basically talking about, you know, that they've lost someone that they deeply care about, and they're just talking about what a beautiful person they were, how much they are missed, and, you know, the actual phrasing that they've used is fantastic. It's a beautiful, beautiful song. Really nice meaning as well. So, um, let's carry on.
of music that is a fantastic fantastic song um, like I said it's nearly 17 minutes long about I think it's something like 16 minutes and 43 seconds but what a great piece of music and what a great song such a beautiful track um, the song actually carried on because the dream we see blooms so beautifully and strongly even these eyes that cannot cry weep once again, meaningless blood flows through the shadow's bared fangs. I don't want to see your sad face again. The blue crystal showed me a beautiful world where butterflies flutter, because I believe in that even now. I am determined. And then there was actually, there was actually some English vocals in there as well. Um, it was the same two lines that were repeated um, a couple of times it says I'm going to be every rose for you in eternity you're going to play with me for peace in this song and then he carried on I'm going to be every rose for you in eternity you're going to play with me for peace in the song I am going to be every rose for you in eternity so you know that that's, that line in itself that I'm going to be every rose for you in eternity it's beautiful it's a beautiful line the, the, the wording of this song is so beautiful it's unbelievable and carried on uh, please bless the burdens everyone bears in this inorganic time even though it's so hard be grateful for human life and if in the end my wish would be granted my voice would reach you because because it will break I locked away and protected my so important world with my own hands. I take the red roses that bloom forth from blood in my memories and I send them out into the sea of reality. 
and in that place, in the dreams we saw, we sing with you, our dearest friend. So it is a beautiful song, and I actually wondered if this was about one person in particular, but I couldn't find any information about the track in itself, which is unfortunate. But it is a, such a beautifully worded piece of music. It is fantastically executed. You can hear in the way that it's performed the amount of emotion he puts behind those vocals as he sings. Absolutely phenomenal piece of music. I can see why so many people suggested I check it uh, this one out. But, you know, there are some lines in there that are just so amazing. Like that line there, even though it's so hard, be grateful for human life. You know, it's like, even though life is hard, be thankful for it. Because, and, you know, whether it's the people you meet or it's your own personal life, you know, just be thankful for it. Because some people don't get to live a long whole life. And, you know, be thankful for the friends you've got whilst they're here. Because you never know what might happen to somebody. And th just those last couple of lines, that, that actually almost caught me when I first read them. I said, and in that place, in the dreams we saw, we sing with you, our dearest friend. You know, that is a beautiful couple of lines, and I almost choked on those. Because it's those lines in particular that make me think that this is sung about or for one specific person. Um, but the song as a whole has a beautiful meaning. Beautiful wording. It is a fantastic piece of music. Absolutely beautiful. I really, really like that. And again, the musicianship, you know, the skill on the guitars and all that was absolutely fantastic. Amazing solos thrown in there. The, the tones of the, of the guitar were amazing as well. So, yes, very, very good piece of music. I very much like that. But I'm going to leave that as it is. And if anybody else would like to suggest a track for me to react to, then please do so by all means. You can drop a comment in the comments section below or message me on my Facebook or my Instagram. The links for those description are down there in the description. The links for those description the link for those are in the description down there. Um, if you do suggest a track though, know that it will take me a while to get around to it as I get suggested so many tracks every single day. Um, you know, I can't record the videos fast enough. My list grows faster than I can record. But I do write down every suggestion, so it will get done eventually. It will just take a while to get around to it. Um, also, Metalhead React is a proud supporter of the Sophie Lancaster Foundation. Uh, they are a British-based charity whose main goal is to put an end to hate crimes, um, mainly those that are aimed towards people of the alternative subculture, the people that dress in alternative clothing or listen to alternative music. I um, mean, essentially, they want to put an end to all hate crimes. But the the reason for the founding of the Sophie Lancaster Foundation is because of hatred and violence perpetrated against people of the alternative subculture. Because the whole the whole reason the Sophie Lancaster Foundation was brought into being is because the um, person in question, Sophie Lancaster, was attacked, and um, her and her boyfriend were attacked and beaten so severely that the boyfriend survived, thankfully. But Sophie Lancaster actually died from her injuries. She was literally punched and kicked to death just because of the way she was dressed, just because of the music she listened to. You know. Uh, the people who perpetrated the attack didn't even take the time to consider, you know, what kind of person she was. You know, she was a very nice person. She would literally talk to anybody. If they had actually approached her and started talking to her, she would have spoken to them, you know, very friendly. But instead, they just decided to make snap judgment. I don't like this person because she's wearing alternative clothing, because she listens to heavy metal music. You know, I don't like her, so I'm going to attack you know, and this was like, I think it was like four, four, five youths attacking two people, you know, it was a disgusting thing to happen, and the Sophie Lancaster Foundation want to bring more attention to the fact that this happens, you know, we, we hear about every other kind of hate crime every single day, we get, we get racism, we've got homophobia, transphobia, religious hatred, uh, prejudice against disabled people, 
etc. You know, all those sorts of things. We hear about those every single day in the news and on social media. But the fact that people are getting violently attacked because of their taste in music and the clothes that they wear, you know, it doesn't get enough attention. And, you know, they want to stop another situation like what happened to Sophie Lancaster, you know, nobody should have to lose their life over something so small. You know, being attacked and beaten to death for the taste in music. I mean, what effect did that, did her taste in music and her taste in clothes really have on the group that attacked them? Absolutely nothing. You know, it didn't affect them in any way. If they didn't like the way they were dressed, they didn't have to look at them. There are infinite directions they could have looked. But instead, they made the decision to attack them just because they thought it was big and it was clever. You know, And it's not. It's not big. It's not clever. It's pathetic. It's pointless. You know, It, it doesn't achieve anything. And, you know, so, uh, the Sophie Lancaster Foundation want to put an end to this. They want to bring more attention to the fact that this is happening every single day all over the world and they want to make the point that anybody that perpetrates this, att these attacks will get prosecuted they will be sent to jail for hate crimes and you know got to got to get to the point where people think twice before they do something like this you know it's it's unacceptable that this happened in the first place, and it's unacceptable that it goes on every day and just gets ignored. Um, so, if you want to find out more about the Sophie Lancaster Foundation, there is a link to the website uh, down there. You can go over and find out what they're um, working on at the moment and what their uh, main goal is, because they can explain it better than I can. And um, you know, if you can help support them in any way, that would be absolutely fantastic. Even if it's something as simple as one of these. Sophie bracelets, you know, they've got other merchandise over there that you can have a look through. Um, so if you can help them at all, that would be absolutely fantastic. Bring more recognition to the fact that this is happening. And soon, and, you know, we get enough strength and momentum behind it, we can stamp out prejudice, hatred, and intolerance everywhere. But I'm going to leave that as it is for the time being. Thank you all very, very much for watching, and I will see you again soon. Bye bye. Oh, 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 oh,